Notice anything different? We got a table. We got all the parts, with the exception of the plywood from a local Ace Hardware store. The plywood was actually left over from our bed project that we previously did. We'll post the links to all the parts used in the description below. To assemble the table, we drop our piping into the coupling, grab our tabletop, Fasten it to the pup, to the piping, just giving it some spins to secure it, and voila, we have a table. Now we're going to discuss the parts used. For mounting, we used two three-quarter inch couplings, one three-quarter inch cap, which is adhered to this coupling. We used a one-inch pipe strap and one one and a quarter inch pipe strap. For mounting, we used one half inch by 18 inch pre-threaded pipe, one half inch 90 degree female to female elbow, one half inch by 10 inch pre-threaded pipe, one half inch 90 degree female to male elbow, a half inch flange, a piece of plywood, which is three quarter inch, edge banding to finish the plywood, and then various shims and screws to fasten everything together. Last but not least, we determined we actually needed a little assistance when grabbing this from stowing it. We needed something for our thumb to grab to make it easier to pick up and handle. We used a chopstick that was fastened in with a few finish nails. To put everything together, we started with the mounting um, mechanism that we would need for the piping. So we utilized PVC, these are couplings, and this is about seven inches here. So we were able to fasten the top coupling with a one inch pipe strap screwed in to the bed frame or the sofa frame. And then the bottom uh, coupling that actually has a cap adhered to the bottom of it is fastened in with a one and one quarter inch pipe strap that I straightened out uh, because this is thicker and we needed to have this distance in order to fasten this. Now we did kind of build this as we go. You can see it's a little rough here. We're gonna putty this in and finish it up. If not, maybe even replace the leg. But um, we'll make this look a little bit better. But we did kind of trial and error this with a couple different alternatives before we settled on this end uh, project or piece here. So we added the cup or the end cap so that the threading from the pipe when it's set in doesn't damage the carpet. So that's the real only purpose uh, for this. And it actually does help with the movement of the pipe, ha helps it to, to move a little better. Uh, another thing to note would be we utilized some shims in here. And we did that uh, because when you have the pipe in, you wanna make sure you're as plumb as can be when the, when the pipe is rising upward. So to achieve plumb, we had to shim it out a little bit and incorporate it into the design. For the pipe, we assembled all the pieces and then tightened it as tight as we could, uh, ensuring that the angles were correct so everything would be level and plumb when assembled. A few things I'd like to mention about the build. We were originally going to use one solid piece of PVC pipe instead of two individual couplings, but the piping we chose wouldn't fit in the PVC snug enough. It was very wobbly. Uh, so we decided to go with these couplings because there's a very snug fit here. And talking about the pipe we chose, we were originally going to go with a galvanized finish. But what we discovered is the galvanized is actually a little bit thicker in diameter than the black, even though they're the same half inch piping. And it didn't fit. It would not fit into the couplings. The black did. So we chose to go with the black because that's what worked. We also considered at first using an inch pipe, an inch in diameter, but we quickly decided when looking 
at the product that it seemed like it would be a bit big for our minivan build and we feel that the half inch gives it kind of a sleeker look so we opted to go with a smaller pipe because we think it, it complements the overall look of the of the bed uh, uh, the bed build the sofa build and the table one other thing that's very uh, worth mentioning here is leverage so keep in mind this is a slat bed so it's not solid it pulls out it, it's got movement to it so we had to make sure with shims uh, and, and that we were achieving something that was stable enough. The leg does move a little bit, but when you have weight on it, it, it really, the overall product, we're very satisfied or the overall build because we have very minimal movement in it. So we were concerned at first, but with the addition of the shims um, and then the tabletop, we were actually able to, to uh, complete this project to our satisfaction. Our table has been working out very nicely for us. We've had many dinners on it, many lunches, and it really is working fine. Uh, if we were going to need to use this table for anything with significant weight, we would probably want to incorporate some kind of a support system, maybe by utilizing the hand grab and a cord or something that would connect to the bottom, which would be easily removable. Um, for versatility purposes. But all in all, this table has been working really, really well. And one thing I actually do like about it, and Kanai likes about it as well, is you can just kind of move it out of the way if you need to go to the fridge, or you need to exit the van, or you just want to go sit somewhere else, like such. We used to eat like this, incorporating trays whenever we would have lunch or dinner in the van. That's now a thing of the past because we can eat on our new table now. I'm sure we're gonna have many pleasurable meals on this table. Uh, again, it's versatile. We can sit in this configuration or I could actually pull up a stool and move to this configuration facing each other so we can eat our dinner this way. Um, so that's just another way we can actually eat dinner. Either way, we're sure we're going to enjoy our table. Uh, we hope that if you decide to do a project like this, that this video could be helpful to you. And we do thank you for watching our videos. Bon appetit. Could you hand me the coffee, please? Cheers.